What's going on boys and girls? Have you ever wondered how do I start my lawnmower if the starter's going out? We've all had that instance where we get to the lawnmower, we get on top of it, we've checked our battery, we've got gas, we hit the brake, we go to cut it on, nothing. It's dead. What you're going to need to make this transition happen is you're going to need a pair of jumper cables and you're going to need a battery in a car that is working. If you don't have a good battery to pull off of, it's not going to work. I suggest going to Walmart for about $12.99. You can get a pair of these jumper cables. Now jumper cables can kill you if not done right. So let's make sure we do it right and make sure you follow every instruction. I'm going to give you a hands-on guide right now what to do. One of the most important things is make sure that your Walmart jumper cables, the positive is on positive, and the negative, which is your black cable, is on the negative. Those two things are the most important to do. Now here comes the cool part about your lawnmower. If you'll notice on your lawnmower, your battery is right here. It's hooked up. You've got to find out where the solenoid is. Your solenoid usually is your positive end of your battery. So follow the cord from your positive end all the way down till you can't see it. As you can see right now here, my yellow cord to my battery has gone right here in my solenoid. Now your lawnmower may be different. It may not, uh, it may have a solenoid in a different spot. It may look a little different. But for this purposes of a Troy built uh, lawnmower, riding lawnmower, this is where it's going to work. This next part is important too. The negative end opposite to the part that was hooked to the car needs to go usually on your deck. And what you see is what I've done right here is I've taken some sandpaper. You've got to make sure it's got a clear connection so that the ground can hit on there. You can even move this around a little bit to get a good ground there. Now, here comes the tricky part. I would probably wear some rubber gloves if I were you. Be careful. I mean, it could shock you. I'm sure somewhere in the world this has killed somebody. So it's not the safest way. The best thing I can tell you is take it to your local Walmart, your parts place, get a repairman in here to get your starter fixed. But if you gotta mow the grass like I do, and I need to mow the grass better, you gotta do what you can do. So here comes the awesome part. The awesome part of this whole process. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna take this part right here, the positive connection, and you're gonna put it on your solenoid. And one of the main things to do is always check your lawnmower. Make sure it's on, make sure that key is on. And also, You've got to mash the gas, I mean the gas. You've got to mash the brake for an order for it to start in. It's just like when you're getting it started. You've got to have the brake pushed in or it'll just keep cranking and cranking. So make sure you've got the, um, make sure you've got the brake pushed down and it should go. So let's give this thing a whirl. I'm going to try to do the best I can with holding my own camera. My cameraman ditched out on me today. He's not here. So uh, thanks, Jonathan Reels. All right, ladies and gentlemen. One important thing I almost forgot to mention is your car battery has to be on. So cut your car on. If you've got a good enough battery, you may not have to cut the car on. But uh, I think my battery is a little going. So um, cut the battery on. Cut your car on. Make sure it's in neutral. Make sure you got the parking brake on. And then give it a little gas. Charge up the battery a little bit. And you should be good. Alright ladies and gentlemen, are y'all ready to make some magic happen? Are y'all ready for this magic? The only thing really left here is to uh, get the, cylind get the uh, positive on the solenoid and your uh, lawnmower should crank. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let the games begin. Wish me luck. You've got everything set up. Now you're ready for put this on the solenoid. Here we go baby. On to the solenoid. Sometimes you gotta get this ground back here going. There we go! Woo! And that, my friends, is the Charlton Fitch 
way to get your lawnmower started if it's not working. Like I said, go to a repairman, get him to look at it, get him to fix it for you. It's not the safest thing in the world, but if you're in a bind and you want to mow your grass, that's how I do it. Yeehaw! I got some grass to mow. Got any questions, comments, send me a like, like my page. I do funny stuff, I do crazy stuff, but I got the lawnmower going and it's time to mow the yard. Woo!